welcome. What we're going to be talking about for the next few minutes is Sonic. What is this thing and what does it actually have to do with artificial intelligence? And those are some of the things that we're going to take a look at. So Sonic stands for software or open networking in the cloud. What? What is that? What do they mean? Open networking in the cloud? Is it cloud-based? What is this thing? Why should we care? Let's talk a little bit about why we might want to care. Broadcom's doing Sonic. NVIDIA's doing Sonic. Cisco's doing Sonic. Arista, Dell, Juniper, White Boxes. Everybody is really getting onto this Sonic bandwagon. If we look at the Sonic community, this Sonic community has really grown. And it's a lot more. This is a little bit older, but there's a lot more going on. So what the heck is this thing and how's it going to affect us? Well, Sonic is an open source operating system for our switches and routers. It's a network operating system. We're like, wait a second, we already have network operating systems. We have them from, from Arista and from Cisco and from Juniper and from everybody else out there. We've had a lot of different network operating systems over the time. Well, this one's open source and we've had some before, but this is the idea of this is gonna be like the Linux for switches. And obviously we've seen what Linux has done. Linux has just had an amazing run. And the funny thing is a lot of devices that you use today, you don't even think that, hey, actually underneath it's running Linux. I think we're going to see that with a lot of companies. They're going to have a networking product, but underneath is probably going to be Sonic. But you might be thinking, we've tried this before. We've tried to do open source networking before, and we've had a lot of different options out there. So we probably play with DWRT, Tomato, all kinds of different ones. Some have been reasonably successful. Vios is very, very nice. But over time, they've kind of all faded away. Why is this different? Well, this is different because it was built not for individual devices or small markets. It was really designed for a very large environment, in particular, Microsoft. Microsoft is the one that developed Sonic. That's what they used to run their huge network. And they released it open source, which is very cool for us. So the idea of this Sonic is pretty straightforward. A few different things here is, you know, this technology, reduced burden, choice of vendors. This is one that's really going to be huge to us. And we'll also talk a little bit about the modularity. Most of the time, when you have an operating system, if you have, for example, uh, Linux, you can compile Linux for the Arduino processor, for the uh, x86 processor, for the Motorola processor, but they're very, very different. Well, what they have in Sonic is this switch abstraction layer. In simple terms, that means I can run this operating system on any vendor's ASICs. No matter who makes it, if it's an ASIC from Cisco or Broadcom or Marvel or Nokia, whoever it's from, this switch abstraction layer makes it possible for me to be able to run on any platform out there. And so we kind of end up with this neat environment where way up top, of course, we got all of our kind of nice, cool management tools that we're used to. And we're like, oh, well, hey, we, we have our traditional management tools. And of course, there's tons of these up here. This is obviously very limited. Here's kind of the core. You see kind of this core components in the center. And then you see this SAI, that switch abstraction layer, that's going to let me run on any vendor's gear. And that's really one of the big differences. Briefly, another component of this is the way it was designed. It was designed with containers. Containers, the modern way we design app applications, we use microservices. And so Sonic's container is not a big deal, but not only do you have control, you can actually add your own container. So if you have specific, your vendor and you wanna have certain specific features that only you have, well, you can run just your own containers. So that's really kind of the big picture. Like, okay, fair enough, because this cool abstraction layer does some other kind of cool things in there. Why are we talking about this for AI? When it comes to deploying AI networks, we're kind of deploying a new network, a complete new environment. And a lot of people are looking at this. As a matter of fact, the leader, one of the biggest leaders in AI is NVIDIA. And NVIDIA talks a lot about Sonic. And they really go ahead, they like Sonic. Uh, you'll hear a different flavor, they call theirs pure Sonic. Um, but basically, hey, if you're doing AI, they really want you to consider doing this. You're like, okay, well, that's just one vendor, you know. Uh, what about other vendors? Well, even one of the biggest vendors we have, Cisco. Cisco now has, go ahead, and they support Sonic, particularly on their Silicon One platform, their most advanced platform, the one that can have the 1.6 terabyte interfaces, that one, uh, that goes ahead and can get over that 10 terabyte limit. That crazy fast one is goes ahead and can run their Sonic environment, and particularly on the 8,000. So you're going to be seeing Sonic. Just remember, this is an open source networking environment. Uh, 
customize. So our version of Sonic might have some features somebody else doesn't. So kind of keep that in mind so you can't have vendor specific features in Sonic. But you should be aware of this and you hear people talking about it, it's not a big deal. It's just another network operating system. Thank you.